The Prime Minister delivers the Liberal Party's election policy tonight in Melbourne. And the state government introduces legislation paving the way to increase by 100% penalties for offences against the Road Traffic Act. Bushfires in South Australia claim the lives of several people. And in Victoria, huge... Tonight, High Court Judge Mr Justice Lionel Murphy has died in Canberra at the age of 64. Good evening. Tonight, John Elliott and the new Liberal front bench in a war of words Car industry component workers vote to go back to work and the historic Sino-Soviet underway despite student protests. Good evening, Mary Delahunty in Melbourne with the ABC National News. Tonight, fighting back, Paul Keating dismisses gloomy ALP research. Tension high in our jails as authorities head off a prisoner revolt. And a top Compass executive in court on deception charges. Good evening, Ian Henderson in Melbourne with ABC News. Tonight, the U.S. strikes back in Sudan and Afghanistan. Terrorists must have no doubt that in the face of their threats, America will protect its citizens. And three men dead after another multiple shooting in Melbourne. Good evening, Ian Henderson with ABC News. Counting the cost of Melbourne's worst storm on record. A wild ride that landed passengers back where they started. George W. Bush sets out his agenda for the next four years and challenging Britain's taste for Australian wine. Good evening. Guilty again, Robert Farquharson convicted of murdering his three sons. Ticket to ride, Mikey rolls out to Melbourne's trams and buses. Hostilities suspended as the leaders pay tribute to a fallen soldier. And fight or farce, a betting plunge on a title bout that lasted seconds. Good evening. The passing of a national treasure, satirist John Clarke dies suddenly at the age of 68. He was a poet, he was a philosopher, he was a political scientist. He understood us, all of us, not just Prime Ministers, but all of us, better than anyone. He was much more than a satirist. Also tonight, pointing the finger, the US says Russia bears responsibility for the Syrian chemical attack. Nature's fury, a wintry storm, leaves a trail of damage and thick snow in the Alps. Once and for all for Sergio. And Sergio Garcia finally rises to the occasion to win his first major. Good evening, Ian Henderson with ABC News. There's shock and sadness tonight.